I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it very soon. There's a lot of interest in it. One of the things that there's I'm a very... lot of interest in uh, the uh, people coming from space. You know. Yes. And I know you're interested. Oh, in Oh, very too. interested in that. How much do they tell you about that? A lot. Really? Yeah. What do they tell you? How much can you tell? So I. How's that work? Is it like super I think top I secret? Can tell, yeah. The second discovery was tasked to look at a possible incoming contact, so an object that they spotted. This person that I've been talking to was asked to not talk about the details yet, but they can tell me that the first discovery, the lights, came from ESA, the European Space Agency. The other one is coming from the USA Canadian team also from James Webb though, but they're the ones leading this investigation. It was tasked from either the NSA or the DOD. They don't know who's the one tasking it, but yes, it is part of this quote unquote threat narrative. The signal that is incoming is the big unknown. What they know is that it is coming. What they don't know is what the hell it is. I am trying to get people from Congress either Congress people or staffers to give me an official quote. Another detail that was uh, given to this person that I'm talking to is that this object is making moves, breaking moves and course correcting moves. So that means that it is not a natural satellite. That means that it is not an asteroid either. It's coming this way and it is massive. I wasn't given speed of this object. I wasn't given dimensions. It was very vague. And this is what, a, what Congress people are being told as well. But there is another nugget of information that they're being told, which is the reason they are doing these unclassified briefings. Because apparently there is some level of urgency that doesn't mean that it's a threat but it needs to be looked at and it needs to be studied uh, Elizondo is already talking about it Matt Ford is already talking about it I know that more people are gonna start coming forward with it over the next 10 days or so Congress people are being briefed about it as we speak how confident are you that it's true that there is an object detected by James Webb that's headed towards Earth that is massive like how how confident are you in that not in that information you got from your source more than confident it's like i'm weary that this information is being passed around i don't know if it's true i know that it is being passed around sure. that i'm confident of sure. but i want to know their motive for talking about this and got it. why it's being like urgently communicated because is this tied to what Lou was saying on on Matt's show yeah it is you right, think those is. two things are the same thing is that confirmed or you think it is I asked and uh, I, I didn't get a no I got a I can talk about it that's so can weird can you say man. who you asked or like no. Matt or Lou uh, okay. no no okay. I can't say I mean it would have to be Lou All right. he's the only one to confirm or deny that I mean, right. that whole conversation was just there's so a whole group, weird. There's a whole group that knows yeah. about this, Patrick. It's not just them two, you know? There have been some significant rumors of events regarding UAP that may occur within, you know, like 10 years or so. I don't know if it's something coming or a natural disaster. You, you hear of something big coming down the pike. Have you heard of these claims? And if so, do you have any idea what it may be? Yes, I've heard of them. Yes, I'm aware of them. And I'm not able to have that conversation. Got it. Um, there's, there's, uh, it's, it's not my conversation to have, but I, I am aware of it. We're, we're kind of preparing the, the U.S. population, at least, and 
uh, by extension, the world population into that reality that there is something, there is a presence here and that we need to explain this presence because if they show up and we continue to do what we did before previous decades and they show up, there will be mass panic. But if you understand that though, these are real and we have five years from 2022 or maybe now four years, uh, if they come in 2027, uh, for, for the U.S. government to prepare the people about what is up there. And in many ways, I think uh, the word got out uh, within the government that they're showing up in 2027 and uh, we better be prepared and and if not there's going to be a lot of explaining to do um, and so I think that dialogue has happened within uh, inside the government in certain areas inside the government that we need to prepare and that's why in 2017 uh, that set a clock of 10 years and why Lou Elizondo uh, earlier in this year said you know just find a hobby for five years and, uh, you know, it'll all be out in five years. And he said that this year. So that was 2027. Huh. And I would say I've heard 2027 in a kind of an official capacity. I can't reveal. So I think um, I, I would say that people in the government are aware of something happening and that there's limited time, uh, a few more years to prepare the people. And that's what's ramping up. Uh, this acceleration uh, from the previous seven decades of not even acknowledging it to now we, we are acknowledging it at a faster and faster pace.